Thank you for all the kind messages the other day because of my fall on the mountain. It's a bit sore, but it's getting better. Now I'm going to head down to Cherokee because I've heard there's a new antique type of recycling place that's just opened. So apparently this place has been around for a while called Too Good to Waste but they've been closed ever since I moved to Wales for a refurbishment and I think this was the old school or at least it was the old boys club at some point so let's have a look what's inside so it's open Monday to Friday 9am to 5pm I do like their graphics vintage and retro I think the entrance is around the side here on the left used to be my doctor's surgery but now it's a solicitors this is what the old schools used to be built like in the old brick style these type of buildings will be up long after the, the bomb drops Here we go. I'm not trying to find anything, but I was actually thinking about something like this the other week. That's ten pound. That's quite a good price for that. Look at the old stool there. I had one of them as a child. Maybe the cats were like that. Look at these radios here. 20 pounds for that. That's pretty cheap. I wonder if it works. the things in these cupboards are available to buy on eBay as well. I do love a bit of green glass.
What a day out there today. It is really throwing it down. But I had to go out, whatever the weather, because I discovered this morning I ran out of toilet paper. So I had to run down the shops, down to Trioki. And I've come back now and I've bought some, look at that, I bought a quarter of ruffles. And I've come back and they're all empty. I sold me an empty bag of ruffles. Right, so we got some eggs from a, a, a sort of nearby farm at Newport. So they had to go in the chicken. I also bought some leek sausages from the butchers. Morris the butcher. And also, I forgot I, forgot I bought these, some pasties. So I, I'll have a nice Welsh pasty now with a cup of tea. So I went to two Good to waste, that's what it's called. I did ask them to appear on the video, but she said, I'm a bit shy, love, I'm a bit shy. So it's a charity, apparently, and they have about four venues throughout the valley. And if you want to, you go in, you buy something. But they had one section there where a lot of the stuff was available from their eBay. So if I can find the eBay uh, shop, I'll put it in the description below, and you can go off and have a look, and then they'll send it to your house. I bought, I saw two things. I picked up two tickets. One was an old uh, school desk and the other one was a sort of a chest to go in one of the alcoves. So I thought I'd treat myself. So I've bought one of them but it's not turning up till next week. So, oh, it's weird. I can feel my arm is shaking. Right, so I've just got home and I've got some post. So I've got some letters which I'll open in a minute. Sounds like there's seeds in there. And I've got an Amazon parcel. This is why I needed to get back because I knew there was an Amazon parcel coming. But I don't know what this is. What's this? Let me just, maybe I twisted it as I came off the bus. What is this? A gift for you. Hi Sean, just a few herbs to start you on your way. Love the videos. I enjoy them with a coffee. Oh, herb seeds. And that's from Jenny. Look at that, a lot of herbs. A, a load of herbs. Right, I'll have a look at them now over a nice cup of tea. And then this one is from Jefferson City. Where's that then? Where in the world is Jefferson City? I'm sure that was in the Waltons. So it's a letter, so I'll read that out in a minute. From Barry Taylor and a, and a pack of seeds. So there you go. I will read that out over a cup of tea. Something else that's turned up as well is a book. At, it's a book that I bought by Gwynt Thomas. Gwynt Thomas was a very popular writer. Oh look, there's a letter for me as well. Okay, that's another gift, which I'll have a look at. So, Gwynt Thomas was a famous uh, orator back, oh, I remember him around in the 70s and the 80s. And uh, I bought one of his books. I didn't realize he did books. I thought he was just somebody that appeared on, what, what was it called, Brains of, Britain, is that what the TV show was called? So it's like ob it's like observations, you know, of life in the valley. So I will I will enjoy this. Through that summer we were fed in soup kitchens, housed for the most parts, and for the extra laugh in chapel vestries. The diet differed from that of the jail only in being served by smiling slender women. Never was the sweet tooth of youth so thwarted. Soup bombarded with monstrous dough balls was the dish of the day. And this was usually followed by a type of tough and sugared rice pudding, which would be later taken over by Japan as the Mark I of their Burma product, synthetic rubber. I'll enjoy that. Right, let me go and sit down now and sit, try and Maybe I need to do some exercises on the old arm. Is that all right? Yeah, maybe I just trapped a nerve as I was getting off the bus. 
because I bought something I don't really need, <laughs> like we all do. I wanted a basket for my bike, and then I saw this. Can you guess how much this was? Eight pound. It's a picnic basket. I was on the bus having a laugh with people, going, excuse me, can you tell me where the best place is for a picnic up here? When it's raining outside. And then I went shopping. So I put my food in it. I thought there's no point buying plastic. So I bought, oh, and I bought something else as well. So there's a lot of food for the cat. Gotta make sure the cats are well stocked up. Although if they keep on eating at the level that they are, I'll have to send them out to work. Send them down the mine. I bought, so that's the basket. I bought this as well. Now it's broke, but it's only cost four pound. So I will fix it myself. It is a home first aid kit box by Boots. So I can put all my lemp sips and stuff in. I just need to fix the, um, the hook on the back there. A little fact, Boots the Chemist, when they first started, also used to have a library section where you could go in and borrow a book. So yeah, I'll sort that out. I'll pop that in there. Although I could keep this in the new thing that's coming next week. I look forward to showing you what that is. Right, let us put all my stuff away and let's pop into the living room for a good old cup of tea. Oh, I've just had a little sleep. Right, there's a few little things I need to get on with. First thing is to try and open this packet that I've got. <laughs> oh, weak as water. It's for one of these, what you call them, plugs. And he said it was a universal fit. So hopefully the man in the shop is right. I must get myself a small little toolkit in order to try and open things up like that. Right, hold on now, let's... Now, I'm gonna have to get something. Oh, stay there. You're actually in the bath. Right, I can't find any tools, because I don't have any, so I'm going to use scissors. Right. What's the weather like where you are? It's certainly getting a lot of people down here. Right, should I have taken that off? We'll soon find out. Because it would be nice. I was in the bath this morning just to try and ease my back. I've got a tiny bit of pain, but nothing that will stop me from doing what I want to do and then my thinking is if I use the back end of the scissors and then close the loop I'm waiting for an Amazon delivery to turn up right that, that bit's done well that was easier than I thought it was going to be yeah I'm waiting for an Amazon delivery to turn up which is a chopping board and a scissors but not just any old scissors it's a scissors that is just for the kitchen because a lot of you told me that when I do my chicken I should really do it on a plastic board rather than on a wooden board so that's what I've done I've ordered a plastic board and again I have done I've never tried this, but apparently cutting chicken with the scissors is a lot easier than cutting it with the knife. Oh, if you contact me through WhatsApp, uh, through 
Facebook, what's happened is Facebook has changed how I get the messages. So I'm actually losing a lot of messages and it's getting confusing what with Instagram and Twitter and everything. So if you do want to send me a message, pop over to my blog, seanjimscameron.com and click on the contact button. And my post office box details are there along with the message box in order to message me. And then I've got all the messages in one central place and it's working out a lot easier. But I'm, I am getting, and I do like to get them, but it's, it's gonna take me a while to respond because I'm getting about 20 to 30 emails every day at the moment. Right, is that gonna be enough? It is. I'm tempted to jump in the bath now just to have that pleasure of putting my foot, getting the water out, and then put in fresh water in. But I know as soon as I get in, the Amazon delivery will turn up. So I might leave it until this evening. Maybe even put a candle on if I had one, but I don't, so I can't. This is one of the joys of living by yourself. You have to do everything. There's nobody else to share the load. But to be honest, I prefer the peace and quiet. Are you doing okay, Amber? Good girl. Like any language, sometimes you can get one word, which means two things. So a kutch means a cuddle. Come and have a kutch. It also means the place under the stairs. I'm going to put these toilet rolls in the kutch. And it's already getting quite cluttered in here. I've been saving my toilet rolls for growing my sweet peas, but, but I think I've got to the point where I don't need them all. So I might start to throw a few out. Look at these old fashioned hooks on the wall here. It's great. But this is where I'm thinking about getting everything out and making a pantry. Not today though, because my bike is in here. And I've also got all my tools from London. Here they are. So a few weeks after I moved in here, I started to think, I wonder what everybody is doing in the house. Because I lived in a house with about, including myself, six other people. And it was one Friday evening. I thought I'll give them a call and see how they are. And while I was having a chat to them, and they were mourning about the landlord's not doing this and the landlord's not doing that, and he's switching things off without, without telling people, he's switching uh, the washing machine off, he's got sensors on uh, some of the washing machines, the tumble dryers, he's got sensors on, and you've got to phone and ask, oh, please, can you put the, can you put the dryer on? And then he will look at his security cameras, which he has not only outside the house, but inside the house, there's, there, there were security cameras. And you've got to ask permission for this and permission for that. And I just thought, do you know what? You're happy to it. I'm quite comfortable here. It was a bit of a moment where, where, where I sort of thought, I miss the old house. But then as soon as I phoned and thought, do you know, they seem to be having more trouble. The trouble seems to be getting worse than better. If only the landlord had a conversation with the house and sat everybody down and said, you know, the cost of everything's going up, so I need to restrict things. But the problem is, if you're buying a service, if you buy a service where you go into a house and there's a washing machine and a tumble dryer, then you expect that service to be there. That can't be withdrawn while at the same time the rent is going up. And I thought, you know what? I'm happy in my little Welsh cottage. I've just checked the forecast for the next few days. I don't think the weather is going to be that favorable enough to go outside and do some filming or do gardening. So I think I might be stuck indoors. So what I'm thinking about doing is, if you have any questions, pop them below 
And then if the weather is that bad over the next few days, I will do a question and answer session for the next video. So this is my box. I will fix it in time, but for the time being, it can go in here rather than just be sat around in the living room. Uh, and I know how to use these lemp sips, so I don't need the instructions for them. But I do need to get things like plasters. That's the next thing. So th there you go. Oh, and there's a there's a catch there. An old fashioned catch. So there we are. You can go in there on call for next time. But obviously, if I end up next to my mill, if I have got some ginger and some lemon, that will be my first port of call. But the first port of call now is a cup of tea. So yes, I feel today is a bit of a, do you get these? A bit of a potch day, you're just potching about. Just doing all those little tasks that you've put off for a while. So I've done my shopping down in the village. I've fixed that bathroom thing. I think for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna take it easy. Now somebody asked me the other day, would I consider setting up a Patreon page? Well, I've already got one. So I'll put a, li a link to that in the description below if you want to go off and have a look at that. But I think for now, I'm going to say goodbye. So it feels it's going to be a bit of a short video today. But don't forget, put your questions down below and I'll try and find the answers for you. I'll catch up with you in the next one. So for me until then, bye for now.